for a nation so obsessed with fitness, it certainly doesn't seem like we're living a very healthy lifestyle. The latest studies indicate that nearly one-third of all American adults are obese. When I did the film, before I started, I just assumed that BMI was like, you know, the right thing because they use it in schools, the government uses it, doctors uses it. But I never knew what my BMI was, but I just figured it had to be normal. According to the National Institute of Health, my body mass index, or BMI, makes me obese. I never knew what my BMI was, but I just figured it had to be normal because I could still, like, I beat people running now, like racing. I still play basketball, so I knew I was physically, like, pretty well endowed. So Tom Cruise, Christian Bale, uh, I think LeBron James, they were all overweight. Uh, but Mel Gibson was obese. Mel Gibson. So uh, there's this website. They calculate the uh, BMIs of celebrities. So when I'm looking at this, I'm like, that's when I want to use that because Tom Cruise and Christian, these are movie stars, the epitome of the perfect body, perfect health, and they're considered overweight or obese. And I knew that would uh, make the message or you know, make it stronger that this whole thing is insidious and it's just way wrong. Basically, what I hope the film does is empowers people to kind of look at themselves and become the CEOs of their own health to kind of find out, well, what do I need to be healthy in the film? I was told that I needed to take two pills for my uh, high blood pressure and atrial fibrillation that I found out the side effects were erectile dysfunction. <laughs> you like it? Actually, I do like it. I really do. You like drinking? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I do. I like for another Yeah, why not? <laughs> oh, my God. Well, your health is like your job. You have to put as much time into being healthy as you do working every day to, to pay bills. And when you don't and you just let industries fix it for you, you'll end up on drugs, on uh, diet, dieting solutions or bari bariatric surgery, and you'll just be a victim so people can profit off you. So I want people to become more aware and take their health back from the industry. I'm a lawyer by training, so I'm used to some, you know, seeing some pretty sleazy stuff, but I mean, I have to say that the, the, the intersection between the public health agencies and big pharma and our cosmetic obsessions with thinness in this culture have produced a level of corruption to the public health discourse on this subject, which is really kind of stunning.